is research all about how I come up with new ideas and how to pursue the ideas. This is a very small place. What you can do together is so much greater than what you can do separately. Success can come about only if we work together as a team. Winning prizes certainly is motivational. The chance to actually translate our discovery to improve patients' life, now that's monumental. As organic chemists, uh, we make uh, useful molecules, for example, new medicines or even new advanced materials. Therefore, there's the need to make more of these compounds, but you need to consider the environmental factors. We have succeeded to come up with a totally 100% green synthetic methods. And the most important thing is using water as a solvent. Uh, we don't produce any byproducts, we don't use any harmful chemicals. Now we can apply them to the synthesis of antibody uh, drug conjugate, a new class of drugs to treat cancer. As we all know, the Singapore population is aging. By year 2030, 20-25% of Singaporeans uh, will be uh, more than 65 years and older. So neurodegenerative diseases of the brain pose a significant healthcare problem in an aging population. So what we have done is that working as a team, we are able to create the first living human midbrain models that resemble many aspects of the human brain itself. So what this allows us to do is to accelerate the screening of new therapeutics so that we can bring the benefit to the patient. When we found that one of the medications that belong to the class of monoamine oxidase inhibitors actually can slow the progression of the disease from one stage to another stage. And this means that patients will be able to live better for longer periods of time. We were the first to develop a uh, probe for the monoamine B oxidase, which uh, we could use now to diagnose the disease and also monitor the progression of the disease. With the new technologies that have come around in sequencing, we've been able to sequence these super huge genes. And when we were able to do that, we would sequence this Titan gene, the biggest gene in the human body. And we found mutations in this gene in about one in five people who have this heart muscle disease. And we then joined up with Illumina to take this test from the basic science laboratory and put it in the space where people could, could quickly access it and use it around the world. And you need to collaborate uh, within countries and across international boundaries to build large cohorts of patients. And sometimes you find some genes uh, mutations are important in one population, but not another. And sometimes they're more common across populations. As we make inroads into R&D, we should not forget about the fact that modelling and simulation is very important. Rolls-Royce Corporate Lab NTU is a milestone to set up a corporate lab, which is essentially a super University Technology Centre. Our professors, they are working very closely with the company to translate the basic research outcome into commercial opportunity. And together with my colleagues over a two-year period to convince Alibaba to set up a R&D Joint Research Institute. And we are very happy that they have chosen NTU to be the first university out of China to have a Joint Research Institute in the area of artificial intelligence. I was the founding director of the Singapore Institute for Clinical Sciences. So in six, we decided we wanted to focus on important diseases in Singapore. And the one we chose were the metabolic diseases. And that was in the developmental origins of chronic diseases such as diabetes and obesity. So Gusto, our very first cohort of 1,200 women uh, in their first trimester of pregnancy. And the idea was to very carefully study these women and their fetuses and then children as they're born. And Gusto is one of the leading and probably the most detailed developmental cohort in the world. And we need investigators, young people, who know how to study humans. And so a major mission of SIX has been to develop that talent. It was uh, rewarding to be able to see the melding of talent and those institutions come together around research activities. I would say that the research journey usually is long, tough and tedious. You have to be excited by the science because it will reward you immensely. Ultimately, we hope that we can become top leaders in the field to bring Singapore 
to be at the forefront of research. We must continue to put in efforts to do well because of the challenging conditions. We are very pleased with this achievement. It helped us to plant the Singapore flat. Because it's an affirmation that what we have built over the years here is important to Singapore. To me, that's the highest honour I can receive.